Getting detail on the planet Saturn is pretty hard, right? So I recently did an experiment on different exposure times taken of Saturn. So one of my videos of Saturn, I had a very short exposure time in a lot of frames. In the other, I had a longer exposure time in little bit of frames. Well, I found out that the photos of Saturn taken with the longer exposures did much better than the photos taken with the short exposures. Now this is because usually when you take photos with shorter exposures, you have to crank up that gain, which therefore adds noise and less detail. Now I also noticed it made atmospheric turbulence more apparent. The planet was much more wobbly, didn't look very good, and there was barely any detail on the planet itself, and you can barely just see the ring division. Now with the longer exposure Saturn, I realized that I had a lot more detail on the planet, it wasn't as blurry, and when I stacked all the images, I had a ton of detail straight off the bat so I didn't have to sharpen a ton. Now currently there are spiders in my telescope. So we can't take any pictures with that scope tonight. Now another thing that can greatly improve your planetary photos is obviously getting a planetary camera. Why this is, is because it will zoom in on that planet because of the small pixel size. And you don't actually have to use a DSLR for this. Whereas the DSLR's pixel size is much bigger. The CWO ASI 178mm has a 2.4 micron pixel size. Whereas the DSLR I have, the Canon EOS Rebel T7 has a 3.72 pixel size. So obviously the DSLR pixel size of 3.72 is really good for deep sky, but not for planetary. The good one for planetary is obviously the 2.4 because it's smaller and you can zoom in there more. I would recommend looking for a camera that has a pixel size of 2.9 or lower for planetary specifically. Though a DSLR will work well if you already have one. Now obviously you're not going to get the best detail of Saturn when it's coming over the horizon, so I'd recommend waiting till like midnight or maybe a little bit past midnight because then it'll be higher up in the sky. And that way you can get more detail on the planet, as well as less atmospheric turbulence. Another issue with planetary I have found is the focus. You have to have precise focus. This is going to screw everything up. Out of focus means blurry photos, way less detail, and of course you get, you know, an unfocused image. If you don't have one, I would recommend getting one of those dual focusers where you have the small focus and then the big focus. My William Optics Xenosaur 61 took my best photo of the moon yet, and that is just because the focuser on there is absolutely awesome and it got perfectly sharp photos. Now, by the way, don't run out and buy a ZWO ASI 178mm because there's a new camera being released, the ZWO 678mc. And this is a brand new camera, has much better specs. If you want to check it out, the video is right here. All right, and aside from that, that's pretty much for today. If you like my video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, please subscribe. What is your favorite planet to photograph and why? Let me know that in the comments below. Anyways, until next time, clear skies.